Now to our top story, one step closer to some big changes on the U of M campus. Even if college was 40 years ago, come on, you remember the name of it, at least one of the buildings of your U of M alumni, Kaufman Union has got to ring a bell. Yeah, but that might not be the case for future generations of students. The university is considering a name change because of the person the building is named after. And Kaya Edwards joins us now. Kaya, you have some new information about the likelihood that this will happen. Right, so we found out there is a new deadline coming from the university president's office. Now, I haven't been to Kaufman Union in years, but one of my friends told me the setup inside is totally different from when I went to the U. Well, now the letters on the building could be changing too. Kaufman Memorial Union. It's where you eat lunch, make friends, and oh yeah, study. But it was a professor who did some studying of her own and found the place you make memories has a controversial history. Kaufman is named after Lotus Kaufman. He was university president in 1920 and kept the position for almost 20 years. Apparently, he refused to allow black students to live in Pioneer Hall, even though housing discrimination was illegal at the time. Now, there's a task for looking into the names of four buildings on campus, including Kaufman, and the office of the president just announced a deadline. The task force has about a month to make a recommendation. One possibility, changing the names. Students have this to say about that. I understand why. I don't know what they would change it to, but I think it's a good idea. Changing the name, it's not gonna do anything. Cause, cause this, all these racist people, they have a disease in their heart. Honestly, as long as like I can get food there and nothing else really changes, I don't care. Food is important. All right, so what's next? The task force will submit its recommendations to the president by December 17th. Until then, university leaders are looking for public input, but actually when you click the link to the Google Doc for that, you do get a notification saying you need permission to view it. So probably something they'll need to fix so that more people can weigh in.